This is the fourth video in the GPF educational series on the two-part retirement system. It's really worth watching the first three as they will answer most of your questions. In this video, we're looking at how your benefits at retirement will be calculated under the new system. As a quick recap, from the 1st of September, years of pensionable service will be divided between saving service and retirement service. Years of saving service will accumulate in the savings pot and years of retirement service in the retirement pot. All retirement benefits earned before the 1st of September 2024 will be retained as vested service and ring-fenced in the vested pot. At retirement, these pots or different types of service will all play a different role in how your benefits are determined. The years of service in the vested pot will be used to provide both a gratuity and a pension income. This is how a member's retirement benefits are currently calculated and the same retirement formulas for the gratuity and pension income will apply. The years of service in the retirement pot must be used to purchase an annuity. Therefore, these years of service will be used towards calculating a member's pension income. The years of service in the savings pot that have not been withdrawn will be used towards calculating a member's lump sum gratuity at retirement. What's important to understand is that if you withdraw funds from the savings pot during your working years, this will reduce your final lump sum gratuity at retirement. It will not, however, impact your annuity income in retirement. Let's look at an example. Say a member has 25 years of vested service, which they earned up till the 31st of August, 2024 and they retire 10 years later on the 1st of September 2034. Let's assume the member has a final salary of 300,000 Rand. In the scenario where a member does not make any withdrawals, at retirement, the member has 35 years of pensionable service. This is made up of 25 years of vested service, 6.6 .6 years of retirement service and 3.3 years of saving service. So let's start with the lump sum gratuity. The member's lump sum gratuity will be calculated on the years of vested service plus the years of saving service. A slightly different formula is used for calculating the gratuity from the saving service, which is multiplied by a factor of three. But let's just keep it simple. From the vested pot, a gratuity of 504,000 Rand will be payable. And from the savings pot, a gratuity of 201,600 will be payable. This means that a total gratuity of 705,600 Rand will be payable on retirement. Now to calculate the pension income. This will be based on pensionable service made up of years of vested service plus years of retirement service. Again, the formula is a little bit different as a factor of 1.5 is applied to the retirement service. From the vested pot, an annual pension of 136,364 Rand is payable. From the retirement pot, an annual pension of 54,905 Rand is payable. This means that the total annual pension that is payable is 191,270 Rand. This means that at retirement, the member receives a gratuity of 705,600 and an annual income of 191,270 Rand. Now let us compare the benefits that would have been paid under the current system using the current formula. The member would still have a total of 35 years of pensionable service at retirement and would be entitled to a gratuity of 705,600 and an annual pension of 191,270 Rand. So as you can see, if you do not make any withdrawals from the savings pot, you will get the same gratuity and pension as if the two pot system had not been implemented. Now, what happens to your retirement benefits if you withdraw all your savings before retirement? Remember, if the member has withdrawn the funds from the savings pot prior to retirement, then the years of service in the calculation will be reduced. If the member had exhausted the balance of their savings pot by the time they retire, this means the gratuity would be reduced by 201,600 and they would now only receive a gratuity of 504,000 Rand. The member would still receive the annual pension income of 191,000 
270 Rand per year. I know that this must all feel very complicated, but the key point to understand is that at retirement, you will have the same outcomes after the implementation of the two-pot retirement system as you would now, unless you withdraw funds from the savings pot. In that case, you will be worse off. So decisions you make now are going to affect your future self.